Joining us now to discuss is Ben Swinburne. He is head of U.S. media research at Morgan Stanley. Ben, it's good to have you. First of all, what's going on with iHeart Media shares this year? Is that podcast driven? Hi, Kelly. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, iHeart has certainly benefited from the growth in podcasting. They've also changed their disclosure so that there's a greater uh, ability to see that business in their reported results. But probably the biggest driver, frankly, is just this really strong U.S. ad market and the recovery we're seeing uh, in the overall economy and overall advertising, which is driving uh, their stock this year. So put differently, why is Spotify struggling? Because many would argue, and I think Ben Thompson has argued, that they are likely to be the organizing platform for podcasting that can monetize it, that can actually try. I mean, I remember talking to people five and 10 years ago about launching podcasts who warned there's no money in it, and that's definitely not true anymore. Yeah, it's rapidly growing, but it's still not that big. I mean, it's sort of amazing. I think podcasts, as we think about them today, are at least 15 years old. But last year, ad revenue on podcasting was still about a billion dollars, probably a little bit less. It's growing, but it's still small. Look, I think podcast. I think Spotify is very well positioned, given their global reach, given the size of their user base and the investments they've made to be successful in this area. But there's a lot of work to be done, and uh, they've got to drive ad tech innovation. Um, they've got to increase the amount of content on the platform, and they're not the only ones investing in podcasting, but uh, they are the ones with the audio platform uh, with the greatest scale. Uh, and so I think with focus and execution, they can win here. So let me ask you, the, the podcasts themselves, I mean, the, I presume that some of them uh, are paid, a, a subscription model. Some of them are advertising supported. Some of them are both, right? And that's how they, the podcasters, make money. And then there are the distributors like iHeart or like Spotify or like Apple and so forth. Have I got that largely right? That's how the money goes? Largely, yes. Um, it's a very fragmented media. Uh, there's two and a half million, a little bit more, podcasts on Spotify today. Uh, the vast majority, they do not own or directly license. So right. uh, the revenue they can generate is on the podcast, which they call originals and exclusives. But we think the industry, which grew 20% last year, is at a point, Kelly mentioned some of the adoption rates, where we're going to see an inflection in adoption. This is going to go from fairly niche to mainstream. And as that happens, I think you'll see a lot more advertising money flow in. If you look at the CPMs that advertisers are paying for podcasts, they're multiples so, of radio. So if I, if I subscribe to Spotify, I have access to its platform of, of, of podcasts, right? It, whatever it's got there. I, I pay my $9.95 a month or ten nine. All right, I'm going to give you a, a, what I'm going to call son of a niche, okay? And that is a, a, a model that I was talking about with a friend of mine today. We all have all these subscriptions. We have a Spotify subscription. Maybe we've got an Audible subscription. Maybe we have a YouTube TV subscription. I've got my subscription to the New York Times, the New York Times' website. Who is going to take all of those subscriptions and bundle that content into one product, one product where I get all of the content I want? Well, that's a longer conversation for maybe another day. Uh, but another it feels day, but genius I, to me. It feels genius yeah. to me because ultimately I've got all these subscriptions. But mine are different from yours. Well, yours are different <laughs> from mine. And I've got my Hulu and I've got my Netflix and I've got all of these things that I'm paying for, including my Wall Street Journal. And there, so let me pick two newspapers and three podcast providers and two music services and a TV, and then I'm set. Yes, simplify. What about that? Yeah. Damn it, Ben. I, 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 yeah, if I could solve it for you, I would, I would do it immediately. I, I, look, I think you, have, you are recognizing what a lot of consumers are feeling, which is a complete overwhelming feeling of subscription overload. And the, the, big tech, look, the, the big tech platforms with global scale are in the best position to aggregate those audiences and those subscriptions. And you're going to see a lot of industry consolidation as a result of all of this disruption. But I think in the audio space, it's Spotify's to lose, just given mm -hmm. the, the lead they've built globally. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.